sir? Is there a vegetarian alternative? <laughs> In my day, pigs weren't quite so particular. Hey! Don't hug it at all! You wouldn't eat any! You wait! What are you doing? You just been belay that you all called mister on this vessel a mark of respect for a lifetime a seafarer. Never mind him. He's got a real problem with authority. Hey, so do I. I know worms is rough victuals, boys, but they'll grease the pipes till we set you down in Rundu. A question, mister. One. Do we have to stay here in the dark? Till Slank hands you over to King Zarbot. Is the King nice to his helpers? That's two. I've got a sick feeling about this. I'll think of something. No, you won't. Ah! In my experience, boys are sadly slow thinkers. What is it? What are you? I'm a girl. No way. We saw your once headmaster's daughter. It was nothing like you, it was off. Oh, I can fix you! <laughs> Who's the leader here? Who wants to know? Moriasta. Dr. Pretorius back home says I have an extraordinarily high level of brain power. If you're so smart, how come you're stuck on this dirt bucket? I'm not stuck. I'm going to meet my father in Rondune. He has important things to do. We have important things to do. No, we don't. <laughs> yes, we do. I'm the leader and I say we've got something. He's not the leader. You. You. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 13. I'm 13. Oh, wait. I just remembered. Today is my birthday. I'm 15. <laughs> if you were 13 and today's your birthday, you'd be... You'd be... 14! Yeah! I only celebrate odd-numbered birthdays. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It doesn't matter how old you are, I'm the leader and the leader has to be a boy. Hey! At our end of the ship, we get served proper food. I could lead you there. Which would make me the leader? Who proper food? Really? Just tell me your name. Why should we? Only that. If you have names, they'll serve you meat. The Ted. I'm Ted. Well, I call him Tubby because he's food obsessed. I am not food obsessed. Didn't you write poems about pie? To pass the time, hide beans in your blankets. It's a blood sugar thing. Fate. At the most whisper of, get this. Sticky pudding. Sticky pudding. <laughs> it's so good. Like I said, food obsessed. I'm Prentice. I'm in charge. Ever notice, Ted, the more you claim leadership, the more it eludes you. Oh, snap! <laughs> and what are you, boy? Leave me alone! Don't take it personally. He's rude to everybody. It's why he gets beaten. It's why he's got no friends. Go on then. Tell your name why, don't you? <laughs> What's so funny? Thanks, Ted. He doesn't have a name. Been orphaned too long to remember. Gremkin calls him. Yeah! Go on! You and your stupid names! Go follow some stupid girl! Like we need your permission, friendless. It doesn't cost any more to be nice. Charmless! What about the food? You can be like temporary leader, only till we eat. Fair warning, boy. I shall expose you utterly. As no one had shown the slightest interest in him before, the boy's eyes began to sparkle, and the lure of competition wiped away some of the boy's misery from his face. Right. Follow me. Right. Follow mother. Molly. That's what I said. Follow money. The boy may have wanted to be alone, but he didn't really mean it. The sparkle in his eyes fade. And strange noises in the dark make him remember the orphanage. Make him think about where that you Yes, sir! You were all shades of nasty mule. Oi! Look at this. Please! 
Please don't hit me, sir. Says pig's dirty work. A mule afraid of his own shadow? Be a man! Thank you, Mr. Grimkin. Uncover yourself. Disgrace to the mother that left you. You watch your next. At the mention of mother, the boy heard a whisk of a song he can barely remember. Oh, and saw a shadow of a home he hoped he might have. Father and son. Mother and child. And even with so little ground for hope. Still, he believed. Despite his distress and sorrows. That such a home would be his. Home! Orphan rule number one! Life is meant to be horrible! Rule number two! There were no orphans in heaven! Rule number three! Mrs. Brimkin's ugly! <laughs>